you guys? It's your girl, Nancy. Also known as Glamour T. If you're new here, welcome to the family, y'all. I know it's been a while, and I look nuts right now. I got on that ounce of makeup. This is on me, but you know, just coming with a little bit of an explanation of why I've been MIA for the last month. Life is life, and y'all. And um, I don't like to fake the funk. I think if you watch my channel, then you know every time I do post or. I'm active on here. I'm authentically myself. So since life has been lifing, I kind of just took a a well-needed break. And I'm still taking that break. Um, but this is a video that is going live um, on this bun and a, a, and a, a cute little t uh, chit chat get ready with me. Basically, uh, there was a sponsorship in this video. And basically, me and the company decided to not work together. So I didn't want to scrap the video. I don't want to scrap it. So here's a video for y'all. But I just wanted to come in and say I miss you guys so, so much. Thank you for getting me to 581 followers and counting. We're almost at 600. Um, and I love you guys. Although I have not been posting, uh, I've still been receiving love. So if you're new here, you know, keep watching. Watch all the old videos and you will know this is not like me to just disappear and say I'm taking breaks and things like that. But pray for me. I love you guys so, so, so freaking much. So freaking much. The people have reached out to me. I'm okay. I just needed this break. But please enjoy this. Get ready with me on this bun. On my no makeup makeup look. I don't even remember what I'm talking about in this video. I'm going to be honest with y'all. But I probably was spitting some real stuff. That's the old thing to me that y'all about to see. So yeah, I love you guys. I will be back as soon as I can. Peace and blessings. And again, pray for your girl. Bye guys. Mwah. What is up you guys? Like you hear in the beginning of the video. This is going to be a quick get ready with me. I'm going to get dinner with my girlfriend, with my soror. So I'm going to put y'all on again if you watch my. And yeah, I'm not going through the products. But I just wanted to talk to you guys. Get ready. Mm -hmm. And get ready. The girl is loving this break. Literally yesterday, I took myself on a date. Oh, that's a good topic. Let's start talking about that. All right, let's talk about self-love, right? Because it is, like, amazing to me when people, like, don't like themselves. And don't get me wrong. I've done work. I've done a lot of work on myself to like myself and be to the point where I can go out to dinner and literally sit by myself. Sit by myself yesterday. I watched the game. I had two drinks. I worked on a new intro, which you may have or may not have seen in this video. I'm not going to talk about it just yet because I really don't know. Um, but it takes work. But I say all this to say, please work on yourself. Please love on yourself and your love language. Is like, how do I word this without saying then like, I know everything because I do not. It takes a big person to look at themselves in the mirror and say, this is what's wrong with me. I'm do I'm willing to do the work to fix it. Okay. I ask my friends all the time because we're women. Some of my friends are single, some are taken. And I'm like, well, what do you bring to the table? What's the hardest part about dating you? And I had one of my friends that got, got offended. She's like, what do you mean? What do I bring to the table? And I'm just like, girl, like, it's not a villain question, you know, and it's not it's not hard to answer what you bring to the table when you don't know. Like if you I know guys ask it, but another woman asking you should not, like, trigger you. You get what I'm saying? Or even, what's the hardest part about dating you? What's hard? No one's perfect, okay? You're not going to sit up here and beat me in the head and be like, everything about me is perfect. Everything about me is so good. No. You no. Know. No. Um, Like, I'm perfect. I don't do anything wrong. Like, are you argumentative? Are you nonchalant? Are you clingy and are you insecure about this? Do you have trust issues? These are all things that it makes somebody hard to date you. And if you are not willing to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself those questions, like, are you really ready to date? Are you really ready to be in a committed relationship? And I'm gonna speak for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> now I know the hardest part, hardest part about dating me. I've done that much work. I know what's hard about dating me. I know things I'm still working on. I've done some work by myself. I'm looking for a therapist. But like being honest with yourself is a big part of it. And loving on yourself and your love language is back to that. So my number one love language honestly is gifts. And I hate saying that because people look at it like, oh, you're just like, you just like, um, 
receiving not true i love giving gifts like uh i love getting people things that are gonna make them happy seeing them smile like having someone know they think about you or you think about them is like it for me like if you come home with a gallon of ice cream and it's my favorite it's like you, you thought about me like that's literally the person i am so that's that's just me so i buy myself roses every week i do um and i didn't used to like roses but now i really do so i buy myself roses every week and they're different colors you know they're not no big expensive flowers i get them from like the grocery store um and they last about a good week and that's something i do for myself that's one of my love languages i mean of course you know your girl treats herself because your girl is good for shopping but that is one thing i have stood on um i take myself on dates quality time with myself um what else i what else do i do that is like my love languages words of affirmation i don't do this anymore but i had like reminders on my phone for a year just saying different things and at the time i didn't really know i was really affirming myself but they were like take a deep breath you're doing great pray stop and thank god um and this is before like i'm not trying to be funny not before words of affirmation were a thing but honestly before like this was maybe like junior year sophomore year of college and i'm not saying that people didn't do them before because my mom had us doing affirmations when we were kids and we weren't calling them that but my mom used to make us stand in the mirror and be like i am beautiful i am a god's creation and i am somebody because god does not make any junk and she would make us stand in the mirror and say this me and my brother all the time um and these are affirmations and you know growing up i was just like my mama making us do this stuff like girl for what like but now that i'm grown i see why she did it now now that i see now that i'm grown and i see the world and how it is i see why she's literally sat her children down and was like you're going to say these things to yourself you're going to believe them and you're going to say them and get them right you feel me because this world does not love little brown children okay and as a grown woman now grown women do not like themselves and baby i love me i love me some me there are some things i need to work on but baby if you watch my 2021 to 22 goals did i achieve them me loving on myself me liking myself me being happy yeah I i'm there okay i'm there with it i'm not someone who can't be alone i love being alone i love my personal space <laughs> i love my personal space i love literally taking myself on dates like my mom was texting me the yesterday like hey are you still out and i'm like yeah she's like you're by yourself and i'm like yeah and she's like okay well can you bring me my food home and i'm like girl i'm not finished dating me yet like literally like that is the person i'm on and I encourage everyone to do this. If you cannot work yourself up to literally take yourself on a date just yet by yourself, because I mean, it is kind of, it's hard. I mean, you can go out and then maybe FaceTime some money that may work for you. Or what else could you do? Or, or date yourself at home. Like actually like make yourself a nice dinner or get your, hold on y'all, I need a brush. Yeah, I was saying, you know, get yourself a nice dinner and pour yourself a glass of wine and sit by yourself at home and watch a movie. Like, don't call anyone. You can text, but I wouldn't call anyone or FaceTime anybody. I would just be alone and maybe write in a journal, scroll on TikTok, but alone. Alone. And I, that's the key. That's the key thing I want us to hear here. Alone. You're alone doing this. You're not on the phone. You're not texting Bay. When is he coming? Whatever. The person you're dating or anything else like that you're literally alone and loving on you and being by yourself for yourself like it is so important it is so important and again i didn't come out the gate like yeah i'm going to dinner by myself i'm gonna sit there and be alone that was not it i literally worked myself up to it like one day i was just like one day I did get up and was just like, you know what? We're doing this. Get up. You're doing this. You're going out by yourself. I used to like wait for friends if I want to try a new restaurant or things like that. Now I'm like, if I want it, I'm going to go. I'm going to ask y'all once. Y'all got one time to be is. After that, 
I'm outside by myself. Like, that's just that on that. Like, I don't have time to keep waiting on people. Like, 20, 20, 2020 through 2021, going to 22, like, if the world didn't teach you that nothing's holding you back and they just keep going, then I don't know what will. Okay. So, love on yourself, your love languages. Um, and then asking yourself the hard questions like, why can't I be alone? If you feel like you cannot be alone, asking yourself, why can't I be alone, is a great start to a question. Like, if you always got to be around somebody, if you always got to date somebody, if you're single and you're literally always like, oh, where's this new guy? And it's this and it's that. It's just like, well, when's the last time there was no guy? And if you can't answer that and it's given very much, damn, maybe, you know, maybe Naja right. Maybe I can't be alone. And again, it's work. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight for me. Um, but I will say I always enjoyed my own space and time. So that was never really an issue for me. Um, so working myself up to actually take myself to dinner, you know, it, it took a little time, but asking myself those questions and writing them out and writing letters to myself and venting and praying like that helped me so much when it came to just like realizing you do have work to do realizing that I need a therapist like baby I am not oblivious okay I am not oblivious I am not the girl that's just like what I'm fine there's no problem there's no trauma there's no this it's giving very much delusional <laughs> it's giving very much Baby, you want a hug? <laughs> Girl, please, ladies, love on you. Love on you. Be by yourself. Learn to be by yourself. And have friends like me who are going to make you uncomfortable. I make my friends uncomfortable all the time. I be asking them all types of shit. Like, so you giving them the cat that fast? I don't care. I'm not calling you a hoe. I'm not calling you a hoe, but I'm just I'm just asking, okay? Dude just came around. You got all excited. You giving it up that fast. And you're a grown woman. So if you feel like, go ahead. If you feel like that's the thing to do. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask. I'm going to get you uncomfortable. Because as a friend, who the hell wants a yes man all the time? Who needs that? I don't. Okay. And I just literally added flashes off camera. But that's my little rant. That's all I have to really say. Um, going into the new year, I will continue to love myself. Going into the new year, I'm open to dating. I am open to getting to know someone, you know, meeting my future husband, whatever, because I decided I can't stay in the house because he's not going to come find me in here. <laughs> yeah, growth. Good girl. Growth. Because the old me would be like, what? Outside? Dates. Mm -mm. But you know again taking a look at yourself you can't just stay home he's not breaking in and if he does baby <laughs> don't break it in all right i'm gonna add a lip liner and a gloss in, and then we're done i love you guys so 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 much be safe i'll see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.